Yes! Naka-create na ako ng GCash account. Hi guys! In this video, I'll show you the updated tutorial on how to create GCash account. Sobrang dali lang guys! Just follow the step-by-step -step tutorial. Alright, let's start after this intro. First, download the GCash app on Play Store. So now, open the GCash app. Then, mapupunta ka sa kanilang registration page. I-type in mo dito ang iyong active mobile number. Then, click next button. At magsisend si GCash sa'yo ng 6-digit code. Pindutin ang send code. Enter mo dito ang authentication code. Siyempre, ang tutorial na ito is about creating GCash account. So, select new account. Here are the next steps to create a GCash account. Provide your correct information, take your selfie, then set up your M pin. To proceed, click this box. I agree that this device will be linked to my new GCash account. Then, click get started. So ngayon, tell us about yourself. Please complete the information below. First is a input mo ang iyong birthday. Then, are you a Filipino? Yes. Then, itap mo ang confirm. Guys, sa pag-fill up nito is make sure the information is true and correct. You can no longer edit these details once you sign up. Type in mo ang iyong first name, middle name, and last name. Enter mo rin ang iyong email address. Then, sa main source of funds ay marami kang options, guys. Just click this one. So, ito yung options mo, guys. Allowance, campaign funds, donation, cash on hand, commission or incentives, e-money. Ayan, so marami. Income from business, provision, investment, loan availments, personal savings, rental income, salary. So, for this tutorial, I'll choose personal savings. At i-type in mo dito ang iyong current address, province, city, municipality, barangay, street address, at syempre ang iyong permanent address. Okay, so just in case, so iba yung permanent address mo, so i-type in mo dito ang iyong permanent address. Pero kung same lang, i-check lang ang box na same as current address. Do you have a referral code? So option na lang to guys. After that, click next. Review the information you entered kung wala bang mali. After mo ma-review is pindutin mo na itong confirm. At ngayon is iset mo na ang iyong 4-digit PIN or M PIN. Ito yung magiging password mo sa GCash. Avoid using combinations like 0000 or 1234. Avoid using also birth year para secured yung account mo. Pero make sure na ma-remember mo ang iyong M PIN. So enter M PIN. Then confirm M PIN. So after that is i-check mo itong I agree to the terms and conditions. At pindutin mo ang confirm. So welcome to GCash. At about sa pag-verify ng GCash account, ay gagawa ko ng separate tutorial for that. For now, dito muna tayo sa GCash Basic. Pero kahit hindi ka pa verified, ay pwede ka na makascan to pay, pay bills, buy load, offline cash in, at ito rin ang mga cash limits mo as GCash Basic account. After that, ispunta ka sa GCash Dashboard. So, click mo itong Go to Dashboard. Enter your MPIN. Alright, so ang purpose nito is para ma-secure yung GCash account mo. Okay, so kung ito ang phone na gusto mong e-register, tumuloy. Kung hindi, mag-login gamit ang phone na gustong gamitin. So ngayon, pindutin mo ang Yes, Register This Phone. Then, magsisend sa si GCash ng 6-digit authentication code. Input mo dito at i-click ang Submit. Congratulations! Account secure ka na. There you have it, my GCash account kana. And that's all for today's tutorial. If you learned from this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe now. Kung gusto mo pang matuto more about GCash, ay pakiclick lamang ang video na nasa screen. Alright, thanks for watching, God bless, and always remember, live, learn, inspire, value, and enjoy life.